Hebrews 12, 4, chastening is for our good. In Hebrews chapter 12, verses 9 through 10, it states, Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. If we are in subject unto the Father of spirits through discipline, we are quickened. We are brought into the spirit. We are brought into newness of life. Chastening makes us alive. It quickens us. When I punish my kids, I am sometimes angry and I want to deal with the infraction right now. It is more for my satisfaction to know my son got it. So he will not do that thing again because it really makes me mad. That is not how God does it. When he disciplined, he does it in supreme wisdom and grace, knowing exactly what it is that we need. I know from experience that the scariest discipline is when he is silent. You do not even know you were going through it. He just lets you go on and explore something that is repugnant to him, but to which you are blind. And he lets it fester until it becomes such a big problem that you cannot deal with it. Then finally, he strikes a blow and you can never go back to that thing again, nor do you want to. He does it in the perfect timing. He might wait years to discipline you about something to which you were blind. He has done that in my life plenty of times, but he does it for our profit and it is never out of anger for his own sake to gain some sense of justice. He does not punish his children for the sake of justice. No, it is always for your training and to make you a partaker of his holiness. And no, it does not seem to be joyous when you go through it. It grieves you. But afterwards, it yields a peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who are exercised thereby. I am in a new season right now after all the pruning I endured last year. I have really enjoyed the grace of God this year and have wonderful peace. I have been in a season of fruitfulness. However, he could purge me again. He says if we bear fruit, he will purge us so we can bear more fruit. This is what he does with his children. Part of the Lord's chastening and purging is our having to deal with those who persecute us and accuse us of just wanting a license to sin. No, we know God disciplines his children and we do not want that discipline, yet it is going to come. He is going to purify us. Hebrews 12, 12 states, Wherefore, lift up the hands which hang down and the feeble knees. Realize that these believers are starting to really fade because of the intense contradiction of sinners. Still, he is in reality talking about the contradiction of sinners, the people who are abandoning grace and going back to the temple. Now they are persecuting and resisting the believers and demanding that they do the same. These believers keep finding that they are having the same arguments again and again while wondering if they are wrong and wondering if those who are turning their backs on grace are right. You see, Sometimes you might think, well, maybe they are right. Maybe I am wrong. That is when God truly purifies your heart because you are desperate and you plead. I do not want to fall away. Please do not let me be deceived. Maybe I am wrong. Then God purifies you and clarifies the truth. That is part of his discipline. But these believers' hands were hanging down. Their knees had become feeble and they were discouraged. However, they needed to keep running. And so he says in Hebrews 12, 13, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. In other words, do not let this offend you. Do not get carried away with offense in this fight. That is how I see it.